you've seen good board game movies like Clue. I am your singing telegram. And, uh, well, I, I guess that's about it. Now, get ready for a movie with more scares than Ouija, more quality than Dungeons and Dragons, and about a thousand times more logic than Battleship. Mahalo, mother. I'm... Jumanji. Before you catch step 16 of The Rock's 25-point plan to rule the world, revisit the children's classic that's way too scary for children. And scariest of all, doesn't give Robin Williams anything funny to say. What happened to you? The Clampets have a yard sale? Ha <laughs> ha. As this guy in a weird green costume makes peace with the death of his childhood. Wonder if Mrs. Niedermeyer is still teaching sixth grade. In other words, hook in reverse. Get ready to play Jumanji, the vaguely African board game that's ruined at least three generations of kids' lives, where all you have to do is roll the dice, then read a slight variation on Move Your Ass. You better run. Your party better move. Staying put would be a blunder. Stampede. Guys, stampede. How many times does this have to happen before you automatically start running? Run! Finally, geez! Meet Alan Parrish, a boy who was sucked into a board game, only to emerge as a confused and hairy Robin Williams. Err, Harry Err Robin Williams. Now, along with his traumatized playmate Sarah, and two super unlucky orphans, they'll do whatever it takes to finish the game they started 26 years ago. Just as soon as they finish talking about having to finish the game they started 26 years ago. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish that game. If we finish the game, it'll all go away. But if we finish the game, it'll all go away. Anytime, guys. Listen, I know you're upset and all, but I kind of feel we should finish the game. Forget about lions and spiders and vines, because you're about to be hunted by more serious stuff, like unresolved childhood issues. Last time I played this game, it ruined my life. Bullying. Literal death. I wish Mom and Dad were here. Fears about your own inadequacy that manifest as mass shooters. You miserable coward! Come back and face me like a man! And tons of PTSD. Then something screams. Then you hear them eating. And you hope to God that you're not deserted. Wow, this is so much darker than I remembered. Our parents are dead too. Watch romance bloom between Bonnie Hunt and Robin Williams. Just don't think too hard about it, because she's an adult and he's still mentally a child. It's me! It's me, Alan, Mom and Dad! And thrill at the happy ending where all the damage is reversed. But definitely don't think too hard about that, because 26 years of life on Earth got erased because some kids finally beat a game. You know, I kind of like my life, but cool, very happy for you, Bonnie. So strap in for a film that finally cracked the code for being a good movie about a game. Base it on a made-up game from a book, filled with characters you actually care about, and always cast Robin Williams. Man, I miss that guy. Starring Peter Mann, Tween Wolf, Kirsten Dunstan Checks In, Dollar Store Halloween Decorations, the reason this needed a reboot, not a remake. Don't move or I'll blow your blinking brains up! Vine Stars, BB Driver, Audrey 2, The Bad Lieutenant, those are my keys, those are my keys. Disney's Jungle Cruise, Andy Serkis's Worst Work, and the NRA. You'll have to fill out these, or I could fill these out. The Jungle Book, The Game, The Movie. Whatever happened to the helpful kind hobo trope? We should bring that one back. Yeah, you're gonna freeze out there. Aww. BB-8, be bait. Take your best shot, Chrome Dome. You can hide, but you cannot hide. Muffin button. Bubbles make me angry. Those who believe in telekinesis, raise my hand. 